everyone, it's Christy. Um, my name's Christy Green. I'm coming to you from Copper Mine um, Fitness. We are going to be doing some yoga sculpt this morning. So go ahead and grab your mat, grab some weights. We're going to get started right off the bat today. Um, so begin down in child's pose. We're going to come down onto our mats. We're going to bring our big toes to touch at the back of our mat. We're going to spread our knees to the width of our mat, and we're going to stretch our arms straight out in front of you. This is a class. It's a combination of um, weight training and uh, yoga poses, so you do need some light hand weights. Um, three, five pounds are probably good if you have not done this before, the lower end. Um, if you have done it, you probably know what weight you are. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. You can find other things around your house to use, um, you know, cans of soup, you can use your body resistance, you can use a band, there's lots of different things. So wherever you are or whatever you have, please still join in and I'll give you um, different ways of doing things if you are not necessarily using just your weight. So go ahead, stretch those arms out, tent up on those fingertips, placing that forehead onto the ground Pulling those arm, the shoulders down your back, keeping them away from your ears. Take a deep inhale through your nose. We're gonna exhale through our mouth. This is the type of breathing that we're gonna do throughout our practice today. So you're gonna breathe in through your nose, you're gonna exhale through your mouth. Go ahead and take a couple more breaths. Just really stretching out Pushing those hips down onto those heels so you can feel that nice stretch in your hips and your lower back. It should feel good. Stretching those arms out in front. Taking a deep inhale, a deep exhale. Another inhale, another exhale. On our next inhale, we're going to come on up to our tabletop position. So we're going to bring our knees our hips over our knees. We're gonna take our shoulders over our wrists so that we are in a tabletop position. We're gonna pull our belly button to spine. So we're really gonna pull that stomach in. We're gonna hold it that way the whole time. We're gonna pull those shoulders down our back. We're gonna have a nice flat back here. We don't wanna be down here. We don't wanna be up here yet. We're just getting into that flat back, belly button to spine, feeling that action for a moment. Go ahead and inhale, dropping that stomach down into cow pose, raising your chin up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Looking up where the ceiling and the wall would meet. Then you're gonna exhale, you're gonna round that stomach up. You're going to still point belly button to spine. You're going to round those shoulders. You're going to tuck that chin into your chest, feeling that nice stretch here. You're going to inhale. You're going to come back to cow pose. You're going to exhale. You're going to come back into cow pose. Uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Exhale. Inhale into cow. Round that back up, tuck that chin, inch cat. Go ahead and drop back down one more time. And then we're gonna to come to neutral spine. We're gonna just roll our neck out. Just go ahead and roll your hips around. Go ahead and take it the other way. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna lift our right arm up to the right side of the room with our palm facing out. And then we're gonna take that arm, we're gonna thread it through our other arm underneath and we're going to place that shoulder down on the ground. Now you can take that left arm, stretch it out in front. If you're getting a good stretch right here, this might be all you need. If you want to, you can bind with your left arm and take it around your back to try to help you open that shoulder up more, the left shoulder. Take a deep inhale, exhale, open a little more. Inhale, 
exhale, open more. Go ahead and place that left hand back down on the mat, pulling that right arm through, lifting it back up to the right side, and then planting it down onto the mat as well. Go ahead and take the left arm. We're gonna reach that straight up with our palm facing towards the left side. We're gonna thread that underneath our right arm. We're gonna place our right, our left ear on the mat. We're gonna take our right arm and wrap it around. Or you can just leave that arm stretched out in front wherever you are. When you start feeling that stretch, that's where you need to stop. We're gonna inhale, exhale. Take another deep inhale and exhale. Open up a little bit more last time. Open up more. Go ahead and lift that arm up to the left, right side of the room. We're gonna come down, we're gonna place it on our mat. We're gonna take our left arm straight up and we're gonna bring that back down to our mat as well. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna round our toes under. We're going to bring, lift our knees up. We're gonna bring our chest to our knees and we're gonna just straighten those legs up, feeling that nice stretch here. Taking a couple deep inhales and exhale, exhales here, just trying to really open up that back, getting ready to start to move. We're stretching that out. It should feel good. Straighten those legs, still trying to keep that chest to thigh. Feeling that nice stretch, you should be lifting those hips up and back. Taking an inhale. Exhale. Now you might be up here. You might not be able to get those heels down. That's fine. You might have a really big bend in those knees. That's fine. That's where you need to be. Keep on working at it. You'll be able to get that length a little bit more. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale. We're going to look forward. We're going to walk to the top of our mat. We're going to go ahead, we're going to grab opposite elbows, and we're just going to let ourselves hang down here. My lower back's been bothering me, so this is feeling really nice here. Just letting it hang down. You can sway side to side. We're going to go ahead and drop those hands onto the mat. We're going to inhale, and we're going to half lift. So we really want a nice flat back here. We want a nice long neck. We're going to inhale, belly button to spine, keeping that back flat, keeping that neck nice and long. We're going to exhale and fold forward. We're going to inhale and come all the way up to standing. We're going to exhale. We're going to bring those hands down to our side and into heart center. We're going to close our eyes. We're going to take a moment here to just find an intention for our practice today. Maybe your intention is to go up on a weight. That's a great one. Or just to find peace and calmness throughout your day, which that is my intention to just kind of allow the day to flow and not to allow myself to get worked up within it. Just to go along with that flow. So take a deep inhale, exhale, releasing those hands. We're going to inhale, reaching straight up. We're going to exhale, we're going to fold forward. We're going to inhale, we're going to half lift. We're going to go ahead and step back into our high plank, keeping our belly button to spine. Now your high plank can also be here. You don't necessarily need to be on your toes, so you can have a high plank that's here, which you might see me doing this a lot today. Like I said, I have a little bit of pain in my lower back, so I'm gonna show some different things to do. We're gonna go ahead and chaturanga, so we're gonna come down halfway. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift all the way up, pulling our chest through our arms, letting that chest shine. 
Then we're going to go ahead, we're gonna lift those hips, and we're gonna come back to our down dog. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Next inhale, look forward and travel to the top of your mat. We're gonna exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and chaturanga, high to low. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. We're gonna look forward. We're gonna travel to the top of our mat. We're gonna exhale, forward fold. We're gonna inhale, half lift. We're gonna exhale, forward fold. We're gonna inhale into chair pose. So we're gonna sit those glutes back and down, just like you're in a little chair. We're gonna keep that belly button to spine. So we wanna keep that back nice and straight. We wanna tuck that in. For chair pose, we're gonna to go to drinking bird, which is when you bring your arms back behind and you come up onto those toes. We're going to come back to regular chair. Looking down, making sure that you can see all 10 of your toes, that those hips are shipped back, and that your knees are back. We're going to exhale, forward fold. We're going to inhale, half lift. We're going to go ahead and step back. We're going to take your arms to the width of our mat this time. We're gonna do our first round of push-ups. So let's go lower and lift, lower and lift. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna push it up and back. Taking a deep inhale, exhale, we're gonna Bring those big toes to touch. We're gonna to go ahead and lift up that right leg. We're gonna bring it into our chest. We're gonna keep it tucked really high up into that chest. We're gonna look forward. We're gonna step that foot through. We're gonna come on up to a high crescent lunge. So we're gonna have a 90 degree bend in that front knee. We're high up on the back toe, on the ball of our foot. Trying to straighten out, you can have a bend here or try to straighten out that leg. Finding your balance. We're then gonna open up to our warrior two. Keeping that 90 degree bend in that front knee, we're gonna switch that back foot to be parallel with the mat, the back of the mat. We're gonna inhale, holding our warrior two, we're gonna exhale. We're gonna reverse our warrior. We're gonna exhale. Chaturanga, bring those hands to mat. Do knees, chest, chin, up. Then moving on back to our down dog. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, bring those big toes to touch. Go ahead and lift that left leg straight up. We're gonna bring it into our chest. We're gonna keep it up there nice and tight. We're gonna look forward. We're gonna step that foot through for a crescent lunge on our left side so we're down in a low lunge we're going to come all the way up to a high crescent lunge again 90 degree bend in that front knee we're going to open on up to our warrior two we're going to reverse our warrior we're going to chaturanga high to low inhale up exhale down dog inhale exhale we're going to travel to the top of our mat. We're going to inhale half lift. We're going to exhale forward fold. We're going to inhale to chair pose. We're all going to come to chair. We're just going to hold our chair pose. We're going to bring our hands into heart center and we're just going to do tiny pulses here. I'm going to demonstrate weights very quickly. Whenever using weights, you always bend your knees to pick them up. From now on, everything comes through heart center before we lift up and out. With warrior two, we are gonna be in field gold arms from now on. We're gonna reverse our warrior by punching that weight straight up. We're gonna pull those weights down to heart center. We're gonna pivot forward and we're gonna plant those weights down. So 
Everyone in their chair pose, go ahead and bend forward. Pick up those weights. We're bringing them into our chest center. We're gonna take them straight up. We're bringing them down into chest center. We're gonna take them straight back. We're gonna bring them into chest center. We're gonna come up on our toes for drinking bird. Once we're on our toes, go ahead and try to take those weights back. And holding for four, three, two, one. We're gonna drop those heels down. We're gonna bring them in. We're gonna come up to a chair pose. We're gonna exhale forward fold. We're gonna come back down into our high plank. We're gonna chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down dog. Bring those big toes to touch. We're gonna to lift that right leg up. We're gonna bring it into our right tricep. We're gonna take it over to our left tricep. Take it back to our right, to our left. Right, left, four, three, two, one. We're gonna look forward, we're gonna step that foot through, we're gonna grab those weights, bring them through heart center, we're gonna come on up to a high crescent. We're then gonna open on up to our warrior two with our field goal arms now. We're gonna push that weight straight up. We're gonna pull them into heart center. We're gonna pivot forward, playing those weights down, we're gonna step it back, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale, down dog. Go ahead and bring those big toes to touch. Take that left leg straight back. We're gonna bring it into our left tricep. We're gonna take it to our right, and our left, and our right, and our left, and our right. Left, four, three, two, one. We're gonna step it forward between our hands. We're gonna pick up our weights in our low lunge. We're gonna come on up to our high crescent lunge. Whoa, I'm losing my balance today. Coming up to a high crescent lunge. We're gonna open up into our warrior two. We're gonna reverse our warrior, punching that weight straight up. We're gonna pull those weights into heart center. We're gonna pivot forward. We're gonna plant those weights on the ground. We're gonna take that foot straight back. We're gonna chaturanga. We're gonna inhale up. We're gonna exhale, down dog. Take a deep inhale here, deep exhale. We're gonna take 10 frog jumps to the front of our mat. So we're gonna jump our feet to the outside of our hands and then jump them back. So we're gonna jump and back. We're gonna jump and back. Now you can always step forward and step it back as well. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High plank. Lifting those hips up into our down dog. We're gonna look forward, we're gonna jump, step hop to the top of your mat. You're gonna inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, we're gonna pick up those weights. We're gonna come on into our chair pose, lifting those arms straight up. We're gonna bring them back down into airplane arms. We're gonna come on up to our toes. We're holding, hold those arms up. You can get on your toes, great. If not, just stay down in your chair pose, wherever you are, just get those arms up. For four, three, Two, one, drop those heels, bringing those weights through heart center. Lift straight up. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping on back to our high plank. We're gonna go ahead and chaturanga. We're gonna inhale up. We're gonna exhale, down dog. Taking a deep inhale. Deep exhale. We're gonna go ahead and bring those big toes to touch. We're gonna lift that right leg straight up. We're gonna bring it into our right tricep. We're gonna take it down to our right wrist. We're gonna take it over to our left wrist. 
We're going to bring it up to our right, left tricep. Right, wrist, wrist, left. So we're making a box. Right, wrist, wrist, up to left. Right, wrist, wrist, up to left. Let's go. Four, three, two, we got it. We can do it. One more. Bring it into your chest, looking forward. Step it through, picking up those weights in our low lunge. We're going to come to a high crescent lunge. We're going to tilt our body forward. We're going to frame our front knee with our weights, and we're going to pull up and back. So let's go. Lift, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to hold it back and pulse. Now you can always come down on that back knee. Just keep that chest, your whole upper body leaning forward a bit for four, three, two, one. We're just going to hold up here for four, three, two, one. Let's go frame that knee. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's lift, pulse it back. Remember to pull that left hip forward, right hip back for four, three, two, one. Up and hold. For four, three, two, one. Let's go lower and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it back and pulse. Four, three, two, one. Just hold it up. For four, three, two, one. We're going to go ahead and place those weights down. We're going to put our hands on the ground. We're going to do some jump hops. Let's go. Switching those feet. Now you can always just step it out. Step it back. This is perfectly fine. If not, just switching those feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We want to land with our left foot in front. Three, two, one. Left foot should be in front. We're going to come on to our, coming on up to our high crescent. Again, we're going to lean forward. This time, we're going to lift up and back. So our palms are facing the back of the room. The front of our hands are facing the front. And we're lifting and lowering. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to hold it back and pulse. Making your chest nice and proud for four, three, two, one. Just hold it back up for four, three, two, one. Let's lower and lift. Let's go. Four, four, I'm sorry, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it back and pulse. Four, three, two, 
Just hold for four, three, two, one. Lower and lift. Let's go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it on back. Four, four, three, two, one. Just hold it back. Four, three, two, one. We're going to come on up to high crescent. We're going to go ahead and bring those weights down, planting them on the ground. We're going to go ahead and take those switch feet again. So here we go. Switch, switch. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right foot in front. Go ahead and pick up those weights. Come on up to a high crescent lunge. Then we're going to open on up to our warrior two. So we're coming up to a high crescent. We're opening up to our warrior two. We're going to lift and lower, lift, lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're going to hold here, we're going to bring them in and out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to lift and lower. Lift. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, in and out, in and out, eight, seven, six, really work those shoulders, upper back, five, four, three, two, and of course those arms, one, lift and lower, lift, lift, eight, seven, <clears throat> six, five, four, three, two, one, in and out, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To warrior two, we're holding. We're gonna lift on up to star pose, which means we're into cardio. So we're going to drop those weights. We're going to do 10 star jacks. Then we're going to go from star jacks right into high knees. So we're prepared. After your 10, go right to high knees. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. High knees. Get them up. Get them up. Get them up. Eight, seven, six. I'm here. I'm just turning up the music. Six, five, four, three, and two jumping jacks. One, let's jack it out. Eight, seven, six. 
five, four, three, two, one. Butt kickers, get them up, kicking that butt. We're doing skaters next. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Skaters, let's go. So we're touching up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, squat jumps, let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Come on into our plie squat. Well, we're gonna start with our first, our regular squat. So, if you wanna grab a big heavy weight for this, you can. Feet hip width distance apart. Weight up by your chest if you have a weight. We're just gonna sit back and down and lift. Lower and lift. Getting those hips back and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down and pulse. Four, three, two, one. Just hold. Four, four. Three, two, full range. Let's go. Left and up. Left and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down and pose. For four. Three, two, just hold. Four, four, three, two, lower and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, pulse it down. Woo! Four, three, two, hold. Four, four, three, two, one. This time we're gonna sit back. We're gonna come on up to our toes, doing calf lifts. So down and up, down and up, down, and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just hold it up. Tap those heels down and back up. For eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just hold up. You can. Four, four, three, two, one. All the way down and lift and lift. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, hold it up, tiny pulses up and down, up and down. 
four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, four, four, three, two, one, sit it back and up, back and up on those toes, for eight, seven, six, five, four, <clears throat> three, two, one, hold it up, and up and down, left and left. Four, three, two, hold it up. Four, four, three, two, one. Come on down, shake out those legs. We're gonna come into our plie squat. I'm dropping down my weight because we're gonna be doing serve the platter and then also salt and pepper, which are both Tiring on my arms. They might be so piece of cake for you guys. I don't know. So our toes are going to be facing out to the opposite sides of our mat. Our heels facing into each other. Our knees are going to be out. Our hands are going to be on our side. We're going to bring them down. We're going to serve and bring in. Serve and bring in. For eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Hold them out, salt and pepper. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them in out to our sides. We're gonna lift up and out, up and out. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold out salt and pepper out here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, bring them in. Let's go serve it out. And out and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, salt and pepper. Let's go back down into our squat when we salt and pepper. For eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Bring them on in. We're serving out and out and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, salt and pepper. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them in. Let's go to last round. I'm sure they're starting to feel something now. That's why I went to a lower weight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, salt and pepper for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Out to our side, let's go. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, salt and pepper it out. For eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them into heart center. We're gonna lift up our right heel off the ground. We're just gonna post up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna come down, we're gonna pulse that knee to the back of the room for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and drop that heel, lift up the left heel, let's go, lower and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse that knee to the back of the room, holding down for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holding down, lifting both knees. We're going to lift and lower. Both heels off the ground for eight, seven, six. Keep those hips tucked in. Five, four, Three, two, one. Hold it on down. I'm gonna switch out my weight. We're gonna stay in the plie squat. We're gonna bring them to heart center. We're gonna twist right, center, left, center. Right, left, right, left, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to hold it right in pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, center, let's go to the left. For eight, whoops, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, we're gonna go into warrior two with our left knee front, our right, foot should be parallel to the floor behind. We're going to take our weights out to the side. We're going to bring them in and out, in and out. Add that knee in if you want. Eight, seven, six, rotating which one's on top each time. Five, Four, three, two, one. We're gonna pulse it out for four, three, two, one. Just hold for four, three, two, one, full range, let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. One, pulse it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it back
five, four, three, two, one, just hold. Four, four, three, two, one. Come on up to warrior two. We're gonna reverse our warrior. We're gonna pull those weights into heart center. We're gonna pivot forward. We're gonna plant those weights on the ground. We're gonna come into a Shiva squat here. So you're gonna come in, you're gonna bring your feet in and you're gonna take it back. You can keep your hands up here. You can keep them on the floor or you can also pop up your weights and do it from here. So let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it in. Taking that left foot back, being on our right leg. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring that foot in. We're going to go ahead down onto our backs. We're going to move the weights out of the way. We're going to come back. We're going to do some tricep work here. So you can lift your feet up. We're going to lean back and down. You can leave your feet here or you can lift up. We're bending in our arms. So we want to keep the center part of our body even. It's all just our arms. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do 20 pulses down. Just step it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Looked at my side, my glutes were sagging. Get those glutes up. Let's go full range. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it down. Four, three, two, one last round up and down, we can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tony pulses down. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and set that booty down. We're gonna do some core work now. Then we're gonna do some stretching and we're done. So everyone roll down on your back. Lift those legs straight up, flexing those feet. We're gonna start with our lower core to begin with. So we really wanna push that back down onto the ground. We're gonna keep those feet flexed and we're gonna lift just our hips up. Lift them up, lift lift have it all come from your lower core to do this lift get it up there for eight seven six five four three two one we're going to go ahead if you need to put your hands underneath your seat go ahead and do that we're going to lower those legs and we're going to lift them back up. So we're going to lower them down. 
Keeping that back all the way to the ground. We're going to lift them back up. Lower down for three, two, one. Hold, lift for three, two, one. Lower down, three, two, one. Lift them up for three, two, one. Lower down for three, two, one, lift them up for three, two, one, lift and lower those hips, let's go, lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and tabletop those legs, again you can put your hands underneath your hips, or but down by your side or up behind your head and your head can be on the ground or it can be up wherever you choose. We're going to reach that right one out and pull it back. Then the left, right, left, right. Make sure you're not allowing those knees to come past your hips. Left. You don't want those legs all the way in here. Okay. You want to keep them right here and go. For four, three, keep that lower back pushed into the mat, two, last one on the side, go ahead on the next, there we go, keeping those legs in, we're going to lift them straight up again, we're going to lift those hips for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend those knees in and out, let's go. Four, keep breathing. got this. You can do it. Push that back down. Last one. Let's go. Right. Left. Bring those feet in. We're going to drop them down. We're going to do crunches here. So we're going to press that lower back into the ground. Let's go. Lift and lower. This is for the upper core. The upper abdominal. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. We're going to flip on over to a forearm plank and we are going to hold that forearm plank for one minute. So everybody get ready. Get on those forearms. I'm going to time it. This is a great core workout. Let's go and starting. So Forearms on the mat, your neck nice and long, holding it here. If you need to, you can always come down onto your knees. That's fine. Just keep your, the rest of your body up. This is all core. You should feel it in your core. You can do this, everybody. Halfway there, only 30 more seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds, right? You got it. Hold it up, hold it up, nice and long. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. And done. See, that was easy. Coming on up to tabletop, let's stretch on back. Stretch those feet back, stretch that back. Into child's pose, keeping your head up, looking forward. We're gonna roll back out to that, high, that low plank, so forearm plank. We're gonna go ahead and get on those. We got a couple plank exercises to do. 
Then we're stretching. So up, we're going to tap those knees down and lift. Tap and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap your right hip down, then your left. Right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap those knees down, up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap it right, tap it left, right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right and left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop down on those knees. We're going to come on down to our back. We're going to do, you can do half pigeon on your front or you can do it on your back. You're going to do it on your front. You can bring your right foot to the top of your mat. You want to make that foot parallel to your mat. You want to step back or stretch that left leg back. You want to center your hips and then you want to fold forward. Trying to keep that right leg parallel to the front of the mat, keeping both of your hips pressing down. You can walk your hands out as far as they go. You want to put your head all the way down, that's fine too, wherever you are. Feeling that nice stretch here. If you're doing half pigeon on your back, you just bend up that left leg. You flip over that right knee, just so that it's like parallel, this up to the ceiling, you could say, instead of the mat. You're just going to push out on that right thigh, just to open that up a little bit, that hip. If you want a more of a stretch, you can pull in on that lower leg. You can straighten it. Just feeling that stretch there. If you're on your back or on your stomach and you feel like you've completed that side, go ahead and start switching back, switching over to the other side. So placing, if you're on your back, your right leg down, crossing your left knee over. If you're in your, on your front, you're pulling that right leg parallel, the shin parallel to the front of the mat. Then you're reaching your arms out, keeping that right leg long behind you. So we're gonna push out on that left thigh here. Go ahead and grab behind. Pulling that in, feeling that nice stretch. You can straighten up that leg. Once you feel you've completed that, if you want to do a happy baby, grabbing both bottom of your feet, 
rocking back and forth, pushing into your hands as you're pushing down with your hands, pushing your feet in and you're pushing your hands down, rocking side to side. Go ahead and bring both those knees in. We're gonna go ahead and release that left leg. Bring that right knee up to our shoulder. We're gonna take it over to the opposite side of the mat, feeling that nice supine twist, reaching that right arm. You wanna to try to get both those shoulders down onto the ground, the right shoulder and the left. Feeling that stretch, it should feel good. And always inhale, release a little bit, then exhale, fold into it a little bit more. Take a couple more breaths here until you feel like you've completed this side. And then you can start working your way over to the other side. So pulling that left knee in and crossing it across your body. Scooting that left, the right hip out. You wanna reach that back, feeling that nice stretch. Inhale, release a little. Exhale, fold into it more. Once you feel complete on this side, go ahead and grab both those knees in. Lift your chin up to your knees and then just exhaling and allowing everything to release and fall down. Into Shavasana, closing your eyes. Just letting your body melt into the mat, enjoying this time of quiet and peace, letting your breath work come back into normal. Stay in Shavasana as long as you want. Um, again, my name's Christy. I'm coming from you through Copper Mind, um, Bear Hills, and you can, we also have Copper Mind Pikesville, which just opened up, it's a beautiful facility there. Check out the classes. Um, there's also tennis there, just like at Bear Hills. Also, there's a bunch of classes going on at Bear Hill location, so check that out as well. You can always still find me here, um, 9.30, Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, for Yoga Sculpt, or you can get into the gym. There's classes going on there. I will see you next um, Tuesday and Thursday. Have a good weekend and um, enjoy the sunshine. It's out right now. So thanks.